This is a pine plantation in Oak Openings Preserve. And these have a really interesting land use history in the early 1800s. Uh, lots of these areas were oak savanna and prairie. And then uh, during the late 1800s, early 1900s, there were actually a lot of these were homesteaded and converted to agriculture and pasture. And during the Great Depression in the 1930s, many of these areas were, these farms were then abandoned. And the land practice at that time was to convert, uh, to kind of stabilize these eroding soils by establishing pine plantations. And so when the Metro Parks was buying the, the land, uh, the, these areas were converted to pines. And there are actually no pines that are native to the Oak Openings region. This is a, an incredible, uh, globally important uh, region that we're in right now. And so the original intent was to manage these plantations, actually periodically thin out the trees. Uh, that actually did not happen. These were um, uh, maintained uh, without management for about 60 years. And what happened is a lot of these trees started to die and kind of collapse in on each other because they had not been thinned and so they were not healthy trees. And again, they're not actually native to this uh, particular region. So the Metro Parks uh, began thinning these areas in the early 2000s. And uh, because the area that we're in now has, has very, it's habitat for some species, but it really is not meeting the oak savanna and prairie uh, goals uh, of this area that really makes this area special. So the biodiversity here is, is quite low. Now we're in an area that uh, was formerly pine plantation, just like the area that we were in uh, a few minutes ago. And this area that we're in now was uh, thinned and had the pines then fully removed uh, by the Toledo Metro Parks in 2000 and 2001. And so it's amazing how we've gone from uh, just kind of uniform pine area to uh, this landscape now that has really incredible biodiversity. Uh, all kinds of flowering plants that flower at different times of the year. We've also found through our monitoring that about 60% of these former pine plantation areas have Ohio state listed rare plant species and none of the uh, intact plantations do. So again, it's a trade-off. There's still some of the pine plantation areas left as a cultural resource. Um, they're really neat, you know, to have here, even though they're not native, not a natural part of the ecosystem. But here, you know, it's very evident uh, the really high benefits to biodiversity and Ohio state listed rare plant species. Pollinators and pollinator plants are much more abundant in this area where the pines have been managed. Really, it's been a complete uh, ecosystem transformation from that uniform pine area to uh, what we have here at this site now, uh, 15 years later. And we have been monitoring the vegetation uh, through a, a partnership with the Toledo Metro Parks and uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, where I'm with now. And uh, we, we have uh, vegetation plots, which are just areas that are on the ground. And uh, we have been uh, measuring the vegetation uh, here uh, for the last uh, 15 to 17 years after the management has occurred to really uh, understand uh, what changes have taken place.